Welcome to Knit One. Part two. Episode 93. Yay! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Um, and uh, Merry it's Christmas. good to see you all. We had a week hiatus, so this has been two weeks since we recorded last. Yes, we skipped a week so that we could spend time with our family. Yep. Uh, we celebrated Christmas, New Year's, and the kids are now back at school. Yay! Because that was a nightmare. <laughs> well, wasn't so and bad. the guests, I love having my parents. Don't get me wrong, I love having them every Christmas. But it is a lot of work. Sorry, texting. And a little level of stress to have. Well, you're house constantly. It's, you're constantly you have to be on. entertaining. Yeah. Even so, if it is mom and dad, you yeah, still gotta feel I mean, like you're entertaining. See, that's a good thing. It's just, it's just my brothers and I. My father's around, but he's over in China. It's just my brothers and I. Whenever they come here, I swear to God, both of them end up falling. Stop playing with your hair. I know, but it's all crazy. Both my brothers end up falling asleep on my couch, so I apparently have the couch that is just good to fall asleep on. There we go. Well, in turn, on Christmas Day, I fell asleep on my brother's couch. There. But. Payback. <laughs> well, but I worked overnight Christmas Eve and didn't have a nap. That's so. true. But it's just, it's good to know that we're all comfortable enough that we feel at home that we don't have to worry about that. You know, it's nice to be comfortable in a place you're visiting. Yes, and that's a nice holiday feeling, too. It is. And um, it's been over 10 years since my brothers and I spent Christmas together. Because so my brother really Tommy's fun. been in Arizona. So it was really fun. We reminisced a lot, laughed that's a lot, nice. giggled a lot about my mom and just certain things and cereal that we used to eat that used to tear our mouths apart. And... Captain Crunch? No, <laughs> close. Uh, Quaker Oats Corn Bran. Because Captain Crunch, oh Jim and I God. call that Captain Crunch mouth. Oh it rips off the top of it your does. mouth. It does, and then it leaves a film on your teeth. <laughs> I know this because we get Captain Crunch every now and again. Yeah, and we don't buy stuff. that anymore, but it's... I try not to, but see, my growing up, we were talking about this. Growing up, my mother would never let us get sugary cereal. The yeah. sugariest cereal we were ever allowed to have was Fruit Loops. No, not Fruit Loops. Um, Frosted Flakes. Now, granted, we're talking 30-some-odd years ago, you know... 40, I'm 42, I'll freely admit that. 30 some odd years ago, they probably didn't have the selection that they no. have now. But still, we got Rice Krispies, <laughs> Cheerios, Kicks. and my brothers. <laughs> my brothers, I'm sorry. I'm laughing because I always enjoyed this cereal, puffed wheat. I still do. I love it. I don't know why, but my brothers were like, yeah, that was when we knew we had to bring out the pound of sugar because there was no way <laughs> in making that stuff edible. See, my favorite. And my mother used to buy the huge sleeves of it because it was cheap. Yeah. My favorite was always cream of wheat and mm. um, shredded wheat. And now that we've completely sidetracked sorry. Into, the, <laughs> into the history of childhood cereal... <laughs> Let's move on. Oh, come on. You guys wanted to know. She, yeah. <laughs> you know you were dying to know what Sheila ate when she was a child. Well, it was just the reminiscing part. And, um, it sounds I was like giggling. you had a great home. We did. And it's funny because my brothers make fun of me when I'm really tired. You've seen this. Yes. You're really I, punchy. I, I am. I'm really, really punchy. And they just kept egging me on. So it was really fun. So jumping right on in. Yes. It's Sheila's going first this week. I got one thing on the needles, as usual. Score. But I've made some really good Whoa. progress because I have the Clapo Tea from, I never remember who, Kate Gilbert. Kate Gilbert, good job. <laughs> Kate Gilbert. Clapo Tea out of fingering weight. And look at this thing. It's, it's nice so and long. It's so beautiful. Look how pretty. So I'm obviously in my second skein. And the colors aren't bad, but really this is really vibrant. Um, it's really coming out good. I'm going to show you I how love much it. I love. I love how you went in reverse so that it's like... Well, when when I saw the um, yarn, this is what they... They had a shawl, and that's what they did. They went in. They went in reverse, and you can kind of see. I tried the to match it. Part. <laughs> no, I like it because it's kind of like it goes really light, and then it and starts to get And I'm sure once I again. soak it, it will probably blend in a little bit more. Probably. I like it. This is all I have left. She's almost done. I am almost done. I gotta measure because I think I had 13 grams left on the ball before I stopped increasing. So I gotta, I'm gonna leave 15 grams on just the ball. Just to be, just to be safe. <clears throat> I like so, it. Like I said, in the skein, I did not like the way this looked. <laughs> Knit up, it's beautiful. So I was working Tuesday night. I worked New Year's Day night because I like to have New Year's Eve off. Not that we go anywhere, but I did this much from here. Wow. To here. New Year's night, listening to a book on tape at work. Good for you. Because we, I don't have internet anymore. They they changed the router and she just hasn't given me the password. She keeps saying she will. Why doesn't she? <clears throat> well, because she doesn't want anyone else to have it. 
I'm like, I'm not going to give anyone. If you want me to sign an affidavit, I will. But <laughs> <I'm ridiculous. laughs> I'm like, I don't care. But it, it's eight hours. Yeah. I mean, I have my books and I have a book on tape. Otherwise, though, I, I have know, to make sure like, before I go to work that I have everything I need that's already uploaded. Otherwise, it's not just, like you're um, answering phones every five minutes at that well, time period. Some nights you know? I can be, and it's annoying as all heck. But, but the other thing, too, is sometimes I really need to get access to the internet. Like if somebody asks me, do you know such and such's hospital number? I'm like, no, but give me two seconds and I can look it up. Yeah. And it's actually kind of helpful, but I'll have to talk to her about it tomorrow. Well, hopefully it won't work in there much longer. Well, I think that might be one reason why she's not giving it to me. But I have to call it today <laughs> anyway. Because she's afraid you're going to sell it to people? No, or I don't know. She keeps it. Well, i got to call it a day because I have not gotten a phone call regarding that externship that's mm -hmm. supposed to start Monday. But I've talked to the people, and they said, don't worry. They want you. It's just a matter of when. So... Is this all you have? This is all I have. I have a sock somewhere on the needles. Um, I'm hoping to get this done tonight, and I'm not sure what I'm going to cast on next. That's exciting. Yeah. I what do you do. feel like? I don't know. Something big and bulky. <laughs> Worsted. You know. A quick knit. Amy, Froggy Monkey, posted a picture of herself wearing a giant cowl from, um, what's the name of that fancy store? Anthropology. Oh. It was knit. It was, did you see that picture? No. It was on Instagram. It was like this giant. It looked like it was knit with like three Anthrop strands of bulky. Yeah, there's, there's a pattern out there for that. I have a bright yellow thing that I got from a spa last year. Bright yellow yarn. Maybe oh, I'll right. I'll make a cowl out of that. Cool. That's a bulkier yarn. You need but to knit it with something. Yeah, I need something quick and just mindless. Maybe I'll just do like, not seed, like seed stitch on the bottom, plain knit, seed stitch on the top. Hmm, that sounds good. Yeah. So, um, that's it for me. On so, my needles, just got a whole list. I do have mm. a list. Um, it's it's more of the same. Um, little baddie, still on the needles. It's never gonna be off the needles because I never work on it. But um, the good news is that my stitch book that I was waiting for came, and I have some ideas. <laughs> I just have to do the edging. Oh, is that what you've been waiting for? <laughs> is just some ideas for the edging? Yeah, because I have a couple of ideas, and I can make something up out of my head. But it's a lot easier if I find something similar that I can Inspired, like work with, yeah. so that I don't have to chart it from n nothing. So here it is. It's in my geisha bag. My poor little geisha bag is getting no love because I never work on that project. So that's Little Baddie, Blue Moon Fiber Art, Socks That Rock, Lightweight, and the Rookie Colorway. And I'm knitting it on a US 6, 4 millimeter needle, and someday it will be done. Oh, yeah. Someday it will be done. I just thought of something else. Um, my Aquaphobia socks, which I after am still... After you're done with on your needles, I want to say something. Okay. Because we forgot something. <laughs> The knit along? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just, we're going to talk about the knit alongs at the end. <laughs> at the end. So, did you work on your aquaphobias? No, because I'm ready. <laughs> what did I tell you last time we recorded? I'm ready. Let's just do the short row heel. I know. I need I'll to record. do the short row heel tutorial. I know. We need to just do it. <laughs> I could probably record it off your iPad. I could. I even have a little gorilla stand to hold my iPad up so I can knit in front of it. Oh, okay. I'm, it's a whole Yeah, thing. but if I'm here and record it, you don't have to knit in front Yeah, of it. but I just need to do it. I know I haven't we'll done see. it. We'll see. Maybe we'll Look get it done Look how pretty they are. They're going to be so pretty. You only need to do one heel. I know. <laughs> I'm and I, I'm and stuck. I can't I'm going to try and persuade her to do it today. I know. People, I, I don't know why I don't do it. I'm just so crazy. I even so have anyway. a regular... Oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, great. Now i got to put that there. <laughs> Beep. I have to put that there's a um, inappropriate content. Or what is it? Mature content. Great. All right. And that's in my Jessalu bag. Um, that is Aquaphobia Socks by Crystal Flanagan and Into the World Sock, the Muse colorway. And I'm knitting oh. it on US2 Chagos. What did I do? Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, see, you're mocking me, and then what happens? One, two, three. No, I just, my the stitch markers, got my stitch markers in the wrong place, that's all. Oh, did it slip under? It yeah, probably slipped it did. under. Um, the next thing I have on the needles that I haven't shown in a long time, this is my car knitting. This is another Just a Lou bag. Did you work on it? I did not. I just thought I would show it again because you probably forgot about it if you remember it at all. And if you're a new viewer, this is new to you. Play it like <laughs> Socky Maki Sock, which I am just trying a lot of different things on it and making it up as I go. It's kind of pretty. Um, this I'm almost on the yellow. 
Saki Maki is like this. It's self-striping, but big um, braiding yeah. stripes. It would be pretty in a shawl. It looks like, yes, she has some really pretty scarf. stuff. <gasps> that would make a nice clap, too. Yes, and she has some. Um, these are separated. You get two little Saki Maki to make a pair of socks from Play of but Life. But she does have some that but are one But she has stain. some shawl ones that are that just we one actually, big um, We gave away one. We did give away one. Who won that? It was um, Mitten Wolf won it, I think. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Dawn. Dawn from Mitten Wolf won it. So, um, yeah, I love Play It Life. I keep going to her store and almost buying stuff. <laughs> but I don't need anything else. So, anyway, I'm knitting that on ones, U.S. ones, I think. Yeah, that sounds about right. And I'm just making it up. This is going to be my car knitting because some of you may know, some of you who follow me on Twitter may know that I had a knitting emergency <laughs> at my daughter's doctor's appointment and I had no knitting. So this is now my emergency car knitting. I know. I was just thinking about that. I have a sock that I really should probably put in my car just for that. Just, just to have emergency I mean, I haven't knit knitting. on it, but just to have it, just in case. It was crazy, man. And they didn't even have magazines in the waiting room. It was like some kind of mean science experiment. <laughs> Um, probably and, was. You were probably being I, watched. I totally think I was. It's, it's, I totally think I was. Let's see what she does. Let's find out. She's going crazy. Um, the la next thing is new to everybody and me. Um, this and is me too. Damask by Kitman Figueroa. Oh, and wouldn't I? Wouldn't you know? I'd be right. I'm almost in the middle of the row. Let me um take it off the. Take I'm back backing up a little You're bit. You're working on your signatures. Oh, did you get new ones? I did. I will tell you more about them in my. Bubbles and bling, but I got some good Christmas giftage this <clears throat> year. Well, that's good. I am knitting these on my new signature needles. Best Christmas gift ever. Um, I was just thinking that I got some money and I was going to put it to something else, but maybe I'll put it towards that bag I bought. Uh, I know. So here is, um, it's either damask or damask. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that word. It's a kind of material or yeah. print. Uh, I think it has it's to damask. do with cloth. I want cloth. To say it's damask, but um, so that's how it looks. Look how fuzzy. I am knitting it out of Mad Color Fiber Arts Merino Silk Angora Blend. Mm. Are you allergic? Um, isn't it soft? I think Angora. No. What was the one that you gave me? Was that Angora? No, mohair. Mohair. I'm allergic to mohair. Um. This yeah, is well, yeah. Matte Color Fiber Arts Merino Silk Angora Blend in the Bloody Hell colorway. It's hand spun, so you can see. Did you spin it? I spun it myself, yes. Um, I was trying to do a lace weight, but really what I got was a fingering weight. It's still very pretty. So How many um, plies? Two plies, and I am knitting... It on a US 6 which is the one that the pattern calls for because this is a fingering weight shawl although I think you could make it in other weights there are three different sizes and I was having a little meltdown because there is a stitch in the pattern that I could not figure out and I was looking through the pattern a million times could not find it finally find stitch, did a Ravelry so I couldn't find the stitch guide Finally went on Ravelry, and there was fortunately a post about how to do it. And then Sheila showed me I wasn't going far enough back in the pattern. It was at the very last page. Right. She had a page which told you copyright information, and it, and it hits the full page, and it ended here. Yeah. And for some reason, I just flipped one more page, and there was the key. So it's on my iPad. So I, yeah, I, I guess I just have to get used to knitting from an iPad. But I'm really enjoying it. I love this yarn. It's going to be really soft. What made me look also is when the last page said page 16, but when I was flipping back to the beginning, it, it said, said 17, 17 pages. pages. Yeah. So thank goodness, yes, there is a stitch guide. Now that I know that, I won't have well, a problem. Well, what we were questioning is it's almost there's almost 900 projects, and not one person mentioned <laughs> well, this stitch. Well, that's why I knew there like, must be wrong. something. I said to Sheila, you need to check this so that I know that I'm not crazy. He has over not, almost 900 patterns and not one person is questioning this no. stick. So I knew they had to be learning about it somewhere. Yeah, the last page of the pattern. So thank goodness. Patience. I know. Um, so, and I'm putting this as my um, Diana Couture stitch hoodie. I like this for the signature so they don't poke a hole in mm. my bag. And I am putting this project in my know me bag. I love Bye. this bag. Knit in my bag. Lois. Lois, who also did my geisha, geisha. bag. I love Lois. Hi, Lois. Um, so, and that is all I have on the needles, believe it or not. All that I have on the needles. 
right now <laughs> that I'm actively working on because there's probably some other stuff at home that I forget that I have. So, yeah. um, rate your date. <laughs> Nothing? I'm hoping that this will be done next week. It really shouldn't be a problem, especially no. if I listen to a book today. It should be done. I have a date to rate, and I am wearing it. I am not sure if I even had this cast on at our last thing. This is Suki by Miriam Pike, and it is a pattern yeah, I think you did. that was gifted to me by Candyland. Hi, Candy, who is super awesome. I love how it looks so very preppy. I know. Well, I, I did it in Dreaming Color Smooshy, and the navy blue color is called Midnight Derby, and the green, which looks a lot like Happy Forest, is actually a, I think it was a limited edition colorway called um, Leprechaun. And I have enough that I could make another one of these. Really? Yes. Um, in the opposite colorway, probably. Oh, okay. Meaning green and then... Green with the blue. blue. I might do it because I that really, really enjoyed nice. I really enjoyed knitting it. Um, Except for the bind off? <laughs> oh, gosh. It was soul-sucking. You have to do this Pico Edge bind off, and it, like, made me insane. I wanted to shoot But it's myself. well worth it. I mean, it's, it's really pretty. It needs that finish. Um, but what a nice pattern. This is pretty. really low key. And I I love these garter I love lines. The eyelets, uh, yeah. the eyelet lines. I think those are really pretty. And now I'm obsessed with like I think this would be really pretty on like a if it was like crescent. Or like on a sweater, you know? Oh yeah, that would like be nice. Like if you had so this the on the are, sleeve of oh, the, the yoke sweater would really or the be yoke. Pretty. I know. And you could do it in different colors. Like just right up here would be really nice. Just right on the edge mm. and then right on the sleeves, I think would be really pretty. Yeah. So I'm sort of obsessed with that right now. Um, but yeah, love it. It was well worth it. It was a very well written pattern. Um, the only thing is, and this is my little pet peeve, the center point of this pattern does not line up exactly with the center of the shawl. Well, maybe really? it does. I think it does. It looks it. No, not quite. No, it's like one or two stitches it's, off. Yeah, and it, and that's that like threw me, and I had kept ripping it out because I'm like, why doesn't this line up? But it just doesn't. It's close enough. It's it's just written that way. Huh. Um. To it just that's how it works. It's not that, and it doesn't really make. It's not like there's a really defined center no, line really on this see. shawl, so it doesn't really matter. But my like OCD sense of symmetry symmetry thing that I have was making it I kept ripping it out because I I just thought it has to be wrong and it it wasn't it was just me and um yeah I had a couple of issues where I would rip back yeah because I was losing the um like I would stop concentrating on it and just do something wrong mostly in the lace section because I just would like forget what I was doing I don't know I think just because it was the holidays but um yeah, I blocked it last night. It smells really good. I used soak in the Ravelry flavor. Mm, I like my eucalyptus. I know. I like that too, but... Like well, you know what soap. it is? I like my eucalyptus because it smells like la um, lavender, lavender, and I have a candle that's over there that smells exactly like it. So, I did want to say one thing about this yarn. When I was knitting with it, the green was bleeding navy blue on my fingers. Like the a green lot. Was, the green was leaving was leaving a blue residue on my fingers. Really? There's a blue yeah, to make it. it really dark. And um, I, at first I thought it was the navy blue, as you would, but it was the green. So when I went to wash it and in white. the soak, I was like, well, it's going to bleed like no tomorrow. It did hardly bleed at all. So I guess all the extra dye came off on my hands. And okay. it was only, it was only, well, I guess I didn't really knit much on this part but it was only really bad when I knit this so I don't know what was up with that but um it did I mean not that it it had a it, I didn't really care but it did Jim was like what's wrong with your fingers and I was like oh <laughs> I had a blue I had like a blue line and oh. blue fingers and thumbs so it was kind of interesting that so I dropped then, a stitch <laughs> then I realized I did uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's sticking out I'm like <gasps> Oh my God. But that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, you're supposed to drop stitches on Clapperton. I know, but it just, the way it was sticking out panicked me. So, I would definitely knit this again. Like, I was seriously thinking of just casting on another one in the opposite colors because it would make a great gift. Yeah. Um, I love blue and green together. I think it's, it's a really versatile color combo. It does look kind of preppy. 
Um, I just think it's, I think it would be gorgeous the other way too with yeah. the light. The sound. green would be really pretty. You might see that project. I might trot out that project later this year and knit another one because it would be a great thing to have in the gift oh, pile. pile. Yeah. So yeah, high recommendation for this. Um, and it is Suki by Miriam Pike. And I think that Yarn Harlot knit one and she really enjoyed it too. I think that's where I heard about it um, when I first saw it, but I love it. So that's all I have for dates rate date. to rate. And then <clears throat> Whirlwind Romance. I have one thing. I didn't bring it, but I'm going to talk about it. Um, so I have four skeins of the Diabolical in the... Mm. What is it called? I want to say Atomic Flower Pot. Flower Shop Inferno. Because there is now an Atomic Flower Pot colorway, so I can't keep calling it that. In the Flower Shop Inferno. Um, so that's four skeins, and um, I am probably going to get some more, but I, I, I need like seven skeins to do the sweater, so I'm more than halfway done. And I just wanted to tell people, I'm doing this thing where I divided it, I divide each um, braid of top into three long sections and spin them in the same direction and apply them together, and this is the effect that I'm going for with the sweater. These um, stripes where the colors kind of stay together but they blend as they change. So I just wanted to, that's what I'm hoping for. The stripes will obviously not be this wide because it'll go on a lot more stitches than this. But that's kind of the idea. It's, it's kind of almost like gradient stripes or gently blended stripes um, because the colors don't stay quite together when you do this because you can't be perfectly the same amount of fiber in each one so that's what I'm going for um, and hopefully I'll be done spinning that by the end of this month so that I can start knitting that sweater because I'm really looking forward to it so that was my whirlwind romance um, future dates well with this almost being done I really don't know what I'm gonna knit next um, I think we were just talking that I want something worse or more something quick I need a quick fix um, I still would like to knit some slippers for myself. My brother can wait. Well, that's worsted. <laughs> yeah, it's worsted. Um, I might. We'll see. Because uh, there's nothing that beats. I have slippers on now. that they're, they're store-bought. There's just nothing that beats handmade slippers. I know. You like them. I do. There's, my feet just get so nice and toasty warm. And they fit so perfectly that if I'm lying on the couch with my feet up, they get really nice and toasty warm, but you don't feel like you're wearing slippers. Right. It's like an extra layer of socks. And I, during this time of year, always have socks on my feet. As a matter of fact, I woke up this morning. Sheila's floor is really cold, FYI. Well, this wood floor we have under, that we're on right now has a little bit of insulation, but otherwise it's ground. It's um, it's above ground. It's like a crawl space type yeah. thing. There's like the ground and then there's, yeah, it's cold. We had it evaluated last year and he gave us some ideas on how to fix it. We just haven't Well, one of them that. put a rug. <laughs> Sheila had a really nice rug and it made it so much warmer in here. My husband doesn't like it. Her husband doesn't like it, so they got rid of it. It's I was actually, like, why? It's actually beneficial for my son to have rugs in our house. Because of his hearing issues. But, it deadens the echoes. Yeah. So, I mean, we have a rug over in our living space area, and my husband and I agreed that we will always have a rug in there because we cannot have the whole house completely hardwood. It just wouldn't work for him. So, your future date is you don't know. I don't know. Um, inspiration will hit when I need something to knit. And as, you know, I always have a sock on the needle, too. And there's some slippers that I probably should finish. I was making for someone and having done that. I've got. So I'm going to do, I'm just cutting you off. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> I'm going to do Shipwreck Shawl. Oh, that's right. From Knitty. Have you started it? I haven't. I am knitting it along with Melissa from His and Hers Podcast, who, by the way, has already cast it on two years ago when she was either pregnant or home with her baby, who's now a two, toddler. Two to three? Yeah. Um, this is the yarn that I'm using. It is, what is the name of it? Spear Trail Fiberworks um, Clotho, which is 100% merino lace weight in the Ancient Stones colorway. And it's it's hard to tell in here, but it's green with some really pale, pale blues and lavenders mm. in it. 
And then, it matches your bag, actually. I know. I kind of like it how it goes together. This is my knitting, my bag Halloween. Did you do my, that on purpose? Probably because I tend to. Okay. I, I, my brain tends to work that way. And these are the, all the beads that I bought because it takes 5,000 beads. And then I had a little meltdown because I thought that these were the wrong size yeah. of beads to the point where I was going to go and complain to the lady who special ordered them for me from my local bead store. And then I was looking on the internet and to try to find, um, it, you know, how this mistake happened and whatever. And, um, I went to another bead store, I think it was Joanne, and I noticed the one that I thought it was supposed to be was much bigger, and then I realized, oh wait, yeah, these are right. <laughs> so I'm so glad that I did not humiliate myself by going and complaining for the order that was perfectly fine. And um, I bought a bead spinner. <clears throat> a bead spinner thing. Melissa told me to get a bead spinner. When you're putting 5,000 beads on, yeah, I'd get a bead spinner. Well, apparently... What I'm gonna and I can do this because this I have three skeins of this. So after I knit the first skein, on the second skein I put like I don't know 500 beads, and then after I get done with that amount, then I break the yarn and I put another. You know you have to do it like that I guess. Um, well, um, if you know how to splice, so that yeah, I I don't even. <laughs> I know how to splice. I know, I but the, even the reason I say that is because the shawl may warrant splicing instead of weaving in. Maybe. I don't know. I'm so lazy. That'll never happen. But anyway, that is, I have to cast that on this week. And um, I will. I meant to cast it on last night, but I got sidetracked <laughs> by my unfortunate Christmas gift to Sheila, which I forgot I to bring with me today. <laughs> that took me way longer than I thought. So, um, I'll have to show that to you next week because I'm an idiot and I forgot it. Um, but that is my one future date right now. And then I also am going to do In the Pink, a shawl by Izzy Knits. If you watch the show, I did one in black and white Zober Ball. Oh, that's it's right. that spiral shawl. And I gave it to my mom because she loves it. And it's gorgeous on her. And I want one. So I have a Zober ball in my stash and I bought another one so that I can knit that and that'll get cast on. It's like I'm all about lace right now. I'm in we a all lace have ball. our um, little hang so, at a time. That is also going to be a future date down the line. Um, crushes and heartbreaks. Crushes and heartbreaks. <clears throat> Christmas came and went. <laughs> I got meat. <laughs> <laughs> she got meat for Christmas. Yay! I got beef jerky and a sausage. That sounds and, so weird. I know. She but, got a <clears throat> remote starter for her car. Christmas and birthday gift. It was a combined was a Christmas combo and, gift. Which is fine. <laughs> she didn't it, just get meat. No. But, uh, and then we got the trip to Vegas. <clears throat> and uh, so my husband put in beef jerky just to put stuff in the stocking. And, <laughs> and, uh, but it's funny because that's, that's what we do. We never put in like. I mean, we always put in things that are, we need, not that I need beef jerky, but like one year he put ibuprofen in and toothpaste. Yeah, and we do that too. You know, we do Deodorant. it. Yeah, just fun stuff. And then um, Monday, he's been waiting for a watch. It's called a skeleton watch. And if anyone's heard of it, it's what it is, is it's a, a watch that shows all its mechanisms. You can see the skeleton of a watch. And you can see through both sides of his. Like, you can right. see all the way through. So he got it, but there were two packages came in, and I told him, I said, you know, there's two packages. He goes, well, open them. The one's for you. So what he did is, it, I happened to, we were looking at skeleton watches, and I said, oh, what I would really like is a pin or a necklace, because I don't wear them on my hand anymore. They get scratched. And I said, I'd really like one for work. So what he got me was this one, and it's very antique looking. And it's a necklace watch or a pocket watch or whatever you want to put it. They actually gave me a cord for like a leather cord. I'm like, yeah, I don't think I'd wear a choker as it, but <laughs> this is the watch he gave me. It's really cute. You can see the insides yeah. working away. It's a wind-up watch. It's very antique looking. I like it. And I'm going to hypnotize you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, that was part of my Christmas gift too. He really, when he wants to be, he can be really sweet sometimes. He's lucky. He sneaks it <laughs> He sneaks it in every now and Otherwise, again. Otherwise, he's what would be for dinner. Chaos, <laughs> <laughs> what's for dinner? Tasty, yeah. Hmm. yeah. Uh, so, um, 
Other than that, what did I get? I got, oh, my son, I feel bad. He gave me slippers. But they didn't fit. They were too small. And so when I went to return them, I returned them first. And it went on Cam's credit card. It's just a credit. And I was hoping to get the money back so I could buy them. So right now, Cam owes me slippers. So what else did I get? Zachary gave me a thing of body wash. That was pretty much my my Christmas. Yeah. Oh, my brother gave me a gift card. And we got this. It's called um. Parachute. It's a, like parachute material, mm -hmm. uh, but it's got po uh, little pockets in the corner, and it's a beach blanket. Oh, right. You put sand in the pockets. And it stays it's down. It's huge. So cool. I must have made a comment that I like theirs, so that's what I got for Christmas from them. And is that all your crushes and heartbreaks? It's all my crushes and heartbreaks. It's all I got. I have to look at mine. Um, Not my really bottles, uh, more bottles and blank, but... Yeah. My, my crushes, my crush and heartbreak is that the holidays are over. Mm -hmm. It's my crush because it's exhausting. Um, I had the mad festival of baking that took forever. Mm -hmm. um, and then I had house guests that I had to entertain and kids that I had to entertain. And um, But then it's a heartbreak because I love Christmas. It's my favorite holiday. It makes me so sad when I take the decorations down. Have you yet? Oh, yeah. I took them down on the first. Yeah. Um, except I still have my reindeer antlers and nose on the car. Yeah, I gotta you take usually wear the, use those until they, what, fall <laughs> off? <laughs> no, I gotta take those off today. Um, I like to try to get it out of the house on the first, just because I just want to get a clean sweep and start the new year. So, that's my crush on my heartbreak. Um, my other crush is that we had a fun girls get together. I was gonna do that on gossiping. Oh, know. okay. That's it's on gossiping. Kind of Alright, it's knitting related. Yeah. But that was really fun. The heartbreak was driving home. <laughs> Yeah. I have to tell you, remind me to say, tell you what happened to my, the, my front license plate when we go to gossip and, and oh, you wonder, right. it was unbelievable. So anyway, um, that's it for my crushes and heartbreaks. Um, Bobbles in bling. Um, I got a couple of patterns. Uh, I want to say thank you to... Yarn and Dangerous. Yarn and Dangerous. No. Yarn and Dangerous. No. She didn't give me a pattern. Oh. No. She sent us a ni she nice message. She sent us a very nice Sorry. message. <laughs> but thank you. I'm still <laughs> thanking you. Oh, I can't remember. Let me... This is why we have show notes. Yes, I know. <laughs> I will just tell you. Hey, when did you go? You got Emily, enough. Emily Milliman, a.k.a. Millie, sent us both the pattern yes. Alpine Ridge Socks. Which she designed, I believe. That is her first pattern design. She is the person, the lovely viewer, who um, made me my um, copy of California Revival Nets. Remember? She printed it for me. Hold on. I can get that one up. Uh, yep. So this is the Alpine Ridge by Emily Milliman. Emmy, Emily Milliman. I'm going to show the... So she gave us both a copy of that. Sorry, I'm reflecting the... No, that's not even worse. There we go. Yeah. So thank you on that. And then I got from... I thought it said, who sends it to you? You should. Huh, that's weird. I got Wind's Chief. That's strange. Maybe details. Um, I got Wind's Chief by Stephen West, and that was sent to me by Beagle Mom Knitter. Beagle Mom Knitter. And I really appreciate it. I um, This is a pattern that I've been looking at, obviously. I think it was in my queue. And I think my brother, my older brother, would like this because he's a... Uh, He's a texture boy. <laughs> he likes check texture, and my other one likes color. Yeah. Which is good. It keeps it. It's the one that has, uh, it's basically knit, and then, I'm going over this way. There we go. Knit, and then you do oh. some twisted stitches. There you go. Just tilt, tilt it a little bit back. Right there. Twisted Pretty. stitches here. Oops. I made it big. Uh, <laughs> either you did or I did. And then you can also do a cowl out of it. With this the same pattern. looks kind of nice where it's a little. Slouchy. Slouchy, but my brother's a, a Cap. Skull cap, Skull kind, of cap kind of guy. Yeah. So thank you very much. I appreciate them both. And I'll show you. I got the antler cardigan. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry. Antler toy, cardigan. Still trying to figure it out. I know. That's the antler cardigan by Tin Can Knits. And that wasn't gifted to me, but Tin Can Knits did a really nice New Year's 
um, coupon code oh, that's right. where you could get one free pattern that was forwarded to me by a couple of people. Yeah. And I went ahead and got this um, antler cardigan. I know that Melissa from His and Hers. It did. Right, right. Melissa from His and Hers podcast is knitting this right now, I think. And it's really cute. Yeah, she so is. I got that as well as the um, sock, Alpine Ridge sock pattern. What yeah. else do you have? That's all I have besides my new wallet. Well, I have um, this. This is my iPad mini. Look, it's like the cuter, younger sibling of the iPad. <laughs> These are both the exact newest the newest iPads ones. for yes. both of them. And as I'm sure you see the commercials, you know. There, it looks like the little tiny one. You want me to put mine there? Now it looks, except for yours, it's on its side. Oh, yeah, because I have it in locked. the landscape locked. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure that I thought this was a good um, idea. I kind of mocked it because <laughs> I have the iPhone. Don't mock the iPhone, iPhone mini. Um, and I do a lot of stuff on my iPhone, but I actually have really enjoyed using it for patterns, um, which is not something I've done before, but I will show you what I'm working on. Damask. Now I have to page back through to show you where I am. Here we go. Oh, sorry. That was because we... See, I have a movable highlighter line on it. You have Goodreads, right? Yes. Yeah. And um, so I can follow along on that. And that's really good because I have all of my patterns from Ravelry downloaded onto that now. Yes. Yeah, you can yeah. see. Um, all of these. There we go. Yeah, I have that on mine as well. And honestly, since I got my iPad, I don't very rarely do I pin, print out a pattern anymore. I like having <clears throat> I, a hard copy sometimes, but this has been really it handy. It depends on the chart. Like, I do a lot of lace knitting, so it depends on how I can view the charts. Um, sometimes it's more convenient to have them on, so I can flip back and forth. It depends on the pattern. Right. Um, but I don't know. I might be able to work around it with just flipping back and forth on this. I know so. usually if it's a straightforward pattern with little charts, even if there's some, I use, um, I like to save paper, but I will say on the clapity because it was so different. I couldn't grasp my head around it at first. <laughs> I needed paper and I actually printed the, they have charts for the clapity and I printed the actual pattern just. Well, I really like it. Um, I got this cover for it because I break things. Um, it has a hard plastic edge that goes all the way around it, even on this side. And it is by Spec. No, mine's not by Spec. It's very um, similar. And it latches on the side here. And you can, it has these ridges because you can set it up like this, which is how I like to have it when I'm knitting from it. Um, so it's, and that's really good. And the other great thing about it, did I bring this over with me? Is I bought a, um, Vera Bradley Kindle cover for my Kindle, my old Kindle that I got a smaller one. And this fits in it perfectly. So I can, when I travel with it, it has a cushion. Oh, add pad, extra. Extra layer. Because I'm totally paranoid about busting it up. It's an expensive toy. Oh, don't do that. It is an expensive toy, but I really like it. And I wanted to recommend an app to everybody. It's called Flipboard. Oh, yeah. And you, it's basically an aggregator, and you can set it to put all of your feeds on it. That is my Flipboard. Um, it has Twitter, Instagram, and it's like a magazine. So you can flip the pages, and if you look at the news... It's like a little magazine, and you just flip the pages, and if you like what you see of the little blurb article, you can click on it and make it bigger. So I've really enjoyed that because I can look at Twitter, Instagram, the local news, the other news. I have the podcast that I watch. There are RS feeds on here, so I can see when they've updated. Yep. And I click on it, and it takes me right to the place that I want to go. So Flipboard is an app that I can highly recommend. I've got a lot of use, but in Goodreads, 
which I've had ever since I had an iPad, because I do have a, a big iPad, one of the original ones, but it was never a good size for me. This, to me, is a better, <coughs> for me, for my lifestyle. Well, and what I was going to say is she has a Mac laptop. I have a Mac laptop. So, a Mac Mac, basically, this is a Mac laptop. Laptop. I don't. She, yeah. So this I use as my laptop. This goes with me pretty much everywhere I go. Yeah. Um, so that's why it works for me because the only other laptop is an HP that we have and it's my husband's. And so this is mine. And this is what I like about it. This is a, this is a medium, a small. This like is a small. small bag from Knitting is My Bag. I can put it right in there. Um, <clears throat> that appeals to me. I would not carry a bigger one around with me because I have my phone. Right. Right. This, yeah, I don't have that. This is small enough where I can stick it in a bag, so I'm losing my voice. I see that. Okay, I so. Don't, <clears throat> I don't have a phone, so that's why my iPad goes with me everywhere I go. Yeah, Although, I have in all iPhone. honesty, if I, if my, my dad gave me this, I... If I had known that the iPad Mini was coming up at the same <laughs> time, the I probably would have gotten the iPad Mini. Well, because you have one of these at home, so you yeah, know. it doesn't make a difference. We only have one now because my it's we're not getting oh. into that. <laughs> so iPad Mini. The other thing that I got, my family on my husband's side has he has um, four brothers and sisters. They're all all but one of them are married. We they have kids. Um, and we've been buying for everybody, and this year we finally went to a family secret Santa where everybody drew one person's name. We used an online program, and um, instead of spending like 10 or $20 on 12 people, we, we each spent around $100 on one person. Mm. Saved a ton of money. <laughs> and um, so my secret Santa was my sister-in-law, and she got me two sets of signatures. And this is the size 4 signature needles that she got me, nice. 32 inch. And the other ones were in my Damask, and she got me size 6. So now I have size 1 that I bought myself, size 4, and size 6. And I, against my will, because these are really expensive, I would almost say prohibitively expensive. I don't know. I, I bought the ones because... I wanted to try them. I don't know if I could justify to myself buying mm. more of these. Yeah. But I'm thinking every Secret Santa year, I'm just going to ask for two more needles <laughs> until I have a whole set. <laughs> because they're, I mean, I love these against my will because th there's something about the weight of them to feel them. They are really good. They are heavy. <laughs> I, I can't explain it, but I really Four's like nice. them. The cord is nice, and it twirls. And it's engraved with the... Uh, with the, It has the needle size right on it, so you don't have to side them. It's also color coordinated. So you got size four, and what else? I got the four and the six. And you have ones? I have ones that I bought. These are the sixes. Are you using the sixes? I'm using them. These are the sixes. But they're expensive. They're about $45 a pair. I know. That is that is expensive. And I am going to do a um, review of these needles. I thought you already did. No, I need to do one. I, I use the Chiagos, uh -huh. and I'm going to do a review, and I'm going to compare all the needles. This is how they look. They're very, I got the pointy stiletto ends. Um, because I think there are a lot of things about them that people would want to know. I would never have ordered them without looking at them and touching them. Yeah, because we it's saw a them. lot of money. We saw Stitches. Them. Yeah, and I saw them at um, um, Rhinebeck? Rhinebeck yeah. last Rhinebeck year. Rhinebeck last year, yeah. So, um, yeah, so that was really exciting. That was a really good gift. Thank you, sister in law Marcy, who probably doesn't watch this show, but thank you anyway, thank you anyway. in case you are watching. Um, I also got a gift certificate to Diabolical Yarns from my mom, which I'm using to buy more. Flower Shop Inferno. Um, because I have a pound and a half, but then I'm kind of nervous that I won't get the whole sweater that I want out of it. Um, I was planning on doing party mix if I didn't have enough because I can make the sleeves out of a different yarn that coordinates, mm -hmm. but I'm thinking I would just be happier if I had the whole two pounds. So I'm going to order another couple of bumps from her, um, which... It's Portuguese Merino, so she had to special order it. Sorry, wow. Rachel. 
<laughs> but um, eventually, <laughs> when she has that in stock, I will be ordering that from her. It's a good thing she's nice. <laughs> I'm always tweeting her, can I get this? It's a good thing she's a nice person. Um, I also went to Webs um, on my girls' day out, which we'll talk about later, and I picked up a couple of things there. I got three skeins of Madeline Tosh um, DK in the alizarin colorway. It's kind of purples <clears throat> and reds. Alizarin is a kind of, it's alizarin crimson. I remember this from when I took art. Um, is one of the, I took painting. Uh, it's one of the colors. Um, and then I got a few skeins of this Limerick Wisdoms yarn because I have an idea for a shawl a DK weight shawl that I want to work out, um, but I didn't want to pay a lot of money for it, and I didn't have anything in my stash that was semi-solid in a DK weight. Um, this worked out to be $4 a skein in, wow. the, in the warehouse, so I think I bought three, three or four skeins of it. It was not that expensive. And this is the second Zober Ball in the denim colorway that I bought. I have one in my stash already, and this is what I'm going to use to make the... Um, in the pink shawl for myself. Oh yeah, right, right. So I was kind of proud of myself because I toyed with getting a different color, and Sheila, and which she would have made, needed two. I would have needed to buy two, and this is this is twenty dollars a skein. I got a discount because I spent over sixty dollars, so because the Mad Tosh was kind of pricey, so I did get a um twenty no fifteen ten per. I got a discount, <laughs> ten or fifteen percent discount. I don't remember how their discounts work. Um, but I was proud of myself because I'm going to use Deep Stash. I got this at Webs like three or four years ago. Remember yes. when we went there? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I bought three of them um, in three different colors. And I bought two and I've used one. Yep. So, love it. Going to do that later. And that's all for um, Bobbles and Bling. And there was going to be a Christmas present for Sheila, but I forgot to. I, it's on my kitchen table or in my driveway. Oh, hopefully it's on your table. And me, Melissa, you and I. We did good because we didn't spend one thing at Webs. That's right. We, we did good. That was really good. Which brings us to gossip and innuendo. We had a girls' day. We had a girls' day last Saturday, Saturday before New Year's. Yes. It was the day that we got lots of snow. Oh, in the Northeast. <laughs> but we didn't get it. <laughs> there, was a, there was a weather war, no, a storm. Weather advisory. Weather advisory. But we went anyway. We ignored it. We did ignore it. Um, so Wendy picked me up at my job at 8 a.m., Yep. Bright and early. I jumped in. Didn't sleep. No. Which is common for me. Which we is went, not good. But And met Melissa from His and Hers Podcast and Jess Lou of um, Stitch by Stitch Jess by Lou <laughs> at, at Webs. So we had a really good time. Yes. Uh, we were in there for a couple hours just chatting. Yeah. Um, I picked up the things that I bought. Jess Lou bought some um, Mad Tosh. Just a couple of skeins. Nothing... <laughs> But she didn't go crazy. I mean, no. like, she went there specific. She, she had went a specific there. Product right. She didn't even go in the warehouse. Good for her. I know. I went in the warehouse, but I needed to get something from the warehouse. Right. So uh, we were there chitting, chatting, and then we went <laughs> to Fitzwillies. <laughs> Fitzwillies. We were there for, oh, geez, four hours? We were there for a long time. Thank you to the waitress. Yeah, that she was there. Really... It was not busy because it was snowing outside, right. which should have been a warning to us, but it wasn't. And on the ride back, um, at... In Northampton, it wasn't snowing. In Northampton, it was fine. Hard. Seriously, Northampton, 91, perfectly fine. When I got on to 90 at the 91 exit, from 91 exit on 90 to Worcester, it was, you couldn't even see the road. Which, if you look at the snow amount, they got the most snow. They yeah. got 9 to 12 inches where we got up to 9 inches. And I don't think that they had pre-treated the road there because... It was, like, there was places where they you could only see, like, two little tiny lines. You could not see the lines in the mm -hmm. road. Sheila fell asleep for a while, and I was driving by myself, and it was dark. <laughs> you could only see, like, a foot in front of you. And in that part of 90, there are no, there's nothing. It's just, like, out in the forest. Yeah. So it's really dark. And um, for a while, I was the only car on the road. That was fine. But then I started catching up because there were... We were getting closer to Worcester. My other feeling is that maybe we were in between plows so that there were plows coming mm. behind us. And it, whatever the, the reasoning was, though, it snowed. It was driving right into us. And I noticed yesterday that it had, like, blasted snow 
into my license plate and made this like license plate size rectangle of ice stuck so you um. could not see my front license plate at all. And I like took my car key and I, it came off in like a chunk, like a license plate with the numbers printed on the back. And that was yesterday. This wow. is like a week later. It was still like that. Um, it was pretty. It was pretty crazy. But then we hit Worcester, and, and bam, fine. the road was fine. It was still snowing just as much in terms of what was coming down, but the roads were clear. And it must have picked up after you dropped me off. I got home. We got home what six. It wasn't I bad when I dropped six, you off here. Six thirty, and I um, came home, fed my family. Heaven forbid, my husband take care of that. So that's besides the point. <laughs> fed my family and went right up to bed because I had to work the same night. Yeah, she had to go back to. And um, by the time I got up for work, there was already like six inches of snow yeah. on my we, car. We got like six inches, seven six inches. Six to nine. In I mean, there's still definitely enough snow out there. Yeah, I mean, it's covered the ground, but um, yeah, that was. And I don't mind driving in the weather, but that one section, yeah. I was like this. My arms were sore the next day because I was, like, holding the, the, the <clears throat> wheel so much. But we had so much fun. We did. We had a lot of fun. I, I was thinking about it today. Um, we need to do that once a quarter. Yeah, I think so. So, in the next three months. Um, we need to do another one. It's Melissa nice. and Jessalu, let's plan it. Let's for, get together you know. again. It was nice to just hang out with some friends. I mean... We don't get to see them. They live no. pretty far away. It's a two-hour drive. Two-hour drive. I mean, that's there. actually not that far away in the grand scheme of things. No, but it's considering it's, other it's friends not that something we'd like that to you do every with. week. No, you know? absolutely not. Um, and just lives like what did she say? She said she's closer to the Canadian Con border. Connecticut. No. Vermont? New York border. New York. Oh, maybe Vermont. <laughs> I don't know. It was nor it, north We don't know west. where she Northwest. lives, but she was like an 45 minutes to an hour yeah. away, so we kind of met in the middle, um, and then we had a lot of fun. It was, it's always fun to hang out with those guys. They're and awesome. I've met Jessa Lou before, but in a very, like, with other people. Yeah. So at one point, you had left the table, and Melissa left the table, but it was very comfortable. It wasn't like, you know, how yeah. when you're sitting Jess with a friend of a friend type of deal. It was, we had a lot of fun. We, we had did. a lot of fun, a lot of laughs. I know. It was <laughs> hilarious. So, um, and the next big gossip and innuendo, which I'm really going to quickly tell you, is um, last episode, episode 92, was the Knitting Mafia. I have put Knitting Mafia t-shirts in the Cafe Press store. But I'm sure they couldn't be anything else, right? I don't know. What do you mean? Can't they be any other products, or is it just... Oh, yeah. Well, I put, I put a lot of products in. You have to look on the store. Like, there's... A section for each of the designs that we have. I updated our, um, I have it all queued up on my thing. Um, this is the Knitting Mafia established 2012. <laughs> that is one of the t-shirt logos. And the second one is a more detailed one. And oh, it timed me out. It says Knitting Mafia, um, Take it to the mattress the, stitch. The Knitting Mafia takes it to the mattress stitches. And I used a Mafia font so that the R in mattress is a gun. It's kind of cute. And why don't you do the prize oh. thing while I put right, this so, up? All right, so we have a winner for our knit along. We did the holiday knit along where you had to knit a stocking or an ornament or something that was Christmas or Kwanzaa or... Hanukkah themed <clears throat> and so we had 297 people who entered we did the random number generator and it picked 178 and the winner to that is Sarah eat my oxygen and this is what she, um, she created she did a little acorn I love it ornament so Sarah um, PM Wendy with your snail mail address yeah, and, and this I, is what yeah. you win Two skeins of Two Knit skeins, Picks Gloss Lace. Which is 70% baby alpaca, 30% silk, 440 yards. Two skeins. So that's um, 880 yards. It's a greenish colorway. Green um, and brown and a little bit of blue. But it looks gold. really brown here, but it really, there we go. That's not bad. And um, you can either knit a lace weight thing out of it, or if that's not how you roll, you can double it and you still have, you have 440 yards of the fingering weight. Yeah. And this is the other logo that I did. The Knitting Mafia takes it to the mattress stitches. And um, keep your eye. I updated our, I put our new logo. Um, it's it's a better version of our um, face logo that we have yeah. on our blog. I did that. I don't have it with me. 
um, yeah, if you check out our Cafe Press store, which you can find by accessing a button over here, there's a section for each of the designs that we have. Um, over the next week or so, I'm going to be putting up a few more designs, including um, Yarn Hose Before Bros, which is another um, <laughs> t-shirt one that people have asked for. So That was a few weeks ago when uh, my husband was here and Wendy came over and he was trying to get sympathy, get, get sympathy for not <laughs> doing like, Yarn something. Hose before bros. And I was still at school and um, I said, you're not going to get sympathy because it was you and your mom. I said, you're not going to get sympathy from them. And she's like, bro, Yarn Hose Before Bros. Before bros. Um, one thing I want to tell you about Cafe Press, um, I do not mark up the base prices very much at all. So we only make a few dollars from each of the t-shirts. But any money that we do make from the sale of t-shirts goes right back into the podcast. We we use it for prizes. We use for it shipping. for shipping um, costs. Buttons. buttons when we go places. Business cards that we give out. And um, our P.O. Box rental. And... Um, we need to make some money this year, a little bit of money to keep things going because yeah. we're getting our funds are getting kind of depleted. We've given away a lot of prizes this year. Yes, we so have. know that if you do buy a product, and I've put bags, several different kinds of bags, coffee mugs, mugs, travel mugs. Um, water bottles, and t shirts, and some other stuff. Um, if you see anything that's not in the store that you are interested in getting that thing on, or the, the images on, let me know and I can add the product. Um, it might let you might let you do it put it on your own. I don't know how it works. Um, I'm just going to tell you that it is really, really annoying and a pain to put things in that cafe press store. <laughs> so I kind of tried to do everything that I could think of up front. Uh, but um, I didn't do every product in the world. I guess I could have, but that would just be a lot of stuff that people like baby bibs. And I don't know yeah. if you want your baby's bib saying the knitting mafia. I mean, maybe uh -huh. you do, but... They had iPhone covers. I mean, they, there's like a million things you can have this put on. But I put the obvious things. They have a couple right. of new bag styles that are kind of cute. A couple of the, um, like a little square backpack drawstring thing that was oh, really yeah. cute. It comes in yellow or natural. So check that out. But yeah, um, Yarn Hose Before Bros is going to go up there. And there are going to be a few other slogans. And um, I want to say thank you, too, to Melissa, who I think inspired the Knitting Mafia by writing a post on whims that said the Fiber Mafia knows everything. <laughs> so maybe we'll have to have a Fiber Mafia t-shirt, too, yeah, in honor of Melissa. So there anyway, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Have a good week. And we'll see you next week. Yep. And, and knit with heart, everybody. Bye. Bye.